Hello motherfuckers welcome to the very first metallurgy Q&A. Let's dive right into it. Arleth asked. What do you feel about metal music in different languages besides English, speak English or die? JK, I am not a native English speaker so I love listening to metal in English or my native language, or whatever other language, as long as the music is good. Ralph that likes shits asked. Do you play a musical instrument? If not, what would it be and why? I do in fact play an instrument, the guitar. I play both electric and acoustic, Alex asked. What's your favorite game from Hetfield? This one's hard. But I'ma have to go with Couch Potato asked. Who has the best hair out of all mainstream metal bands? Definitely the unbeatable duo of Dave Mustaine and Marty Friedman. Lil Panda asked. Do you prefer Metallica or Megadeth? Ah, yes, the age-old question, Metallica or Megadeth. I have never been able to pick one, both were my gateways into metal and it's impossible to have one without the other. Very hard, but at the moment, I prefer Megadeth. Edgy Dude asked. When was the first time you got into metal? What was the song that made you a metal head? The first metal songs I ever heard were probably The Unforgiven and One by Metallica. I heard them on MTV back when I was little, my dad was blasting Metallica sometimes too. These two songs were stuck in my head for a couple of years until I had access to the internet, and finally googled them, and fell down the rabbit hole. Jeremy Weatherby asked. Who's got the better caboose, Thomas, or Percy? I'm a huge Thomas stan, so I'ma have to go with him. Greg Finca asked. Which is your favorite death album? This is also a very hard question, I can't pick one, so here's my top two. Scream Bloody Gore and the Sound of Perseverance. Spaznas asked. If Lars Ulrich and a decent drummer were to fight to death, who would win? Hmm, I guess it would be funny watching Lars Ulrich fight himself. Giga Storm X asked. What is your definition of bad metal music? This is a very shitty question. There is no such thing as bad metal music. Five Finger Death Punch. Miranda Hallisey asked. Who sings better, James Hetfield or Dave Mustaine? I'll have to pick James here, however you got to know that Dave's voice is an acquired taste, it sounds great once you get into it, and you should also have in mind that singing while playing Megadeth songs is no easy task, hell, singing while playing any song is hard, let alone Megadeth songs. Arter Assis asked. What's your favorite album? This is also a very tough question, there's too many great albums out there, but I'll pick Ride the Lightning, as it holds a special place in my heart. Kenneth Yesticles asked. What's your favorite band? Nickelback. Rafaela Seco asked. Who's your favorite guitarist? For rhythm, I'd have to pick James Hetfield and Dave Mustaine. As for lead guitarists, Lil Wayne. Say Stardust asked. Did you have an emo face? Thank God I did not. I had no proper emo face. However, I had an edgy 13 year old face, which is equally as bad. Ishtvan Valish asked. Where are you from? I am from <laughs> Igor Kvarantin asked, what do you think about Chavapi? I need it! Hugh and Cry asked, what made you start YouTube? For starters, this is not my first YouTube channel, and I have been making some type of content for YouTube since I was 10 years old. Back then, I was very inspired by fellow Let's Play YouTubers I watched back in the day. As for this channel, my inspiration was the lack of content surrounding metal music. I dove into it and I wanted to do things other people didn't do. And it's going well, thanks to y'all. Mikey asked. Are you a man or a woman? I am a proud penis owner. R1L asked. What are your hobbies besides metal? We go gym! We go gym! Now! Anime, books, hunting the cryptids down, just normal people stuff. Bobby Viennese asked. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Mathematicians at New York University have come up with an answer, 1000. They computed the licks needed to dissolve one centimeter of hard candy using a formula for how flows cause dissolving, like saliva on a Tootsie Pop. Previous studies, however, found it only took a few hundred licks to get to the chewy center. Vuk Vukisovic asked. How much do you hate pop slash rap slash hip hop? I do not hate rap, as a matter of fact, 
I listen to rap and hip hop quite often. As for pop, I don't necessarily hate it, I just don't usually listen to it, however I will listen to a song if it's a banger. That was it for the Q&A, guys. I wish you a very metal rest of the day.